Jumping off. I, I love it. Love it so the much. Keep, the, the keep is retractable. So the, the jetpack's under it, so it retracts. There you go. Perfect. Yep. He's like... That's I why there's no like cape it. in the middle thing. I uh, I also got something else, but he looks towards Jack for a moment and then looks down. It's like, maybe I'll keep this one. And the thing is, he's holding what appears to be a very ornate sword. So for fa that does this family heirloom does belong to you guys, but for now he's gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah, naturally. <laughs> he's like, the, to uh, be honest, you know, you know what my plan was. Uh, what I was gonna wear it on my back, so he thought I was good with it. Then they'll never expect me to pull out the list. <laughs> <laughs> and start gatting away. You just fucking never use oh, the man. sword. Like, it's gonna be like a fucking. It's gonna be like a one like identifying character trait. You know, you've got the guy that never pulls out the sword on his back. He's constantly using everything else. The, the second he pulls it out, you know that it's shit. <laughs> That's essentially how it's gonna go. Oh my god. Vibra great great swords are fucking brutal. Otherwise, yeah. What are you going to do the next day? Because Ifo and Sam are already left by that point. Uh, considering we're on better terms, can I uh, ask very politely to borrow a few frag grenades since I kind of run out and it's always good to have a few of those on hand? Yeah, they tossed a few to you. They go, here you go. Nice. Right, actually... well, I'll tell the crew that they can stay for as long as they want, but I'm going to take the Icarus back to Corellia to start organizing. I mean, I've got no reason to stay here. I'd like to go back, actually, to check up on my guy, see if everybody's fine, so... But we have to finish I, off the I, wedding. I, yeah, we, we still have to do that. I assume that uh, your parents are going to come, so they'll take you back anyway. But I'm going to go and start organizing planning yeah. things now. I'll, I think I'll join you. I mean, Astrid can stay with her family. Actually, before you leave, Cora, Galen is waiting for you. Oh, hey, Galen. He's What's up? Oh wait, can that... I intercept Cora before Gala meets her? Yeah, sure. Cora. Hey. He's like looking over, he's like, what are you talking about? Uh, Astrid, <laughs> Don't worry about why are you whispering? Don't ignore me! <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of like, quietly kind of like whisper in here. He likes you, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of give you a thumbs up. Uh... Before, uh running off. <laughs> he looks okay. like, oh, what did you say? Astrid! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. He looks Bruce confused. Laughing. He just looks confused and a bit like miffed. He's, he's not the only one that looks. He like at this point he's just like ignoring her and then it's like you're weird. <laughs> it's been nosy. And then he offers you out what looks to be a backpack, Cora. Uh, a backpack? Uh, what's this about? Mm -hmm. I heard you would like something like this. Um. Okay. Uh. Thank you. He's gonna grab the backpack and check what's inside. As you check inside, you see Yulin's helmet. And also his own helmet. G Galen's helmet. Oh. I heard you like trophies. Basically, it says Astrid, he basically hopes that you take it and remember him by it. Like it. So he doesn't have any deeper meaning behind it. Sorry. Well, it does have deeper meaning. He does. You can easily tell he likes you. But not out of control, like, uh, you know, to do anything. He just, ah, it's okay, it's cool, right? What do you mean, out of control? He what? wants to smooch you! Like, I mean, he doesn't... how serious is he about this? Well, how, what are you gonna say this? He fancies you. Like, if you, if he was to ask you out, it'd be a girlfriend-boyfriend thing, not just gotcha. a crush thing. So, by the way, <laughs> first of all, Ash, flip a point because uh, Jack uh, clicked that by mistake. Sorry, yeah, I meant to click sync with GM. Uh, I'm gonna put <laughs> oh, my... Uh, yeah, right. uh, I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder and with the mouse say, uh, This is a very thoughtful gift, Gal. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, smiles, although uh, you're probably sad that, uh, you know, Astrid is gone and all, don't give up. You're a, you're a good boy. I'm sure you'll find uh, somebody that's right for you, so don't, start look uh, don't stop looking, okay? I'm sure you're gonna make uh, a girl uh, very happy one day. He nods. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of I mean, let's just say that Koro is a bit old for that kind of stuff. Yeah, 
I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> As Cora walks off, I'm gonna put her. No, no, I'm not done yet. Around. I'm just gonna give him a goodbye hug and say, uh, goodbye and good luck out there. Let us know if you need any help with something, alright? You do tend to get in a lot of trouble. Ganon <laughs> smiles and goes, ah, I'll be fine. I know you will. And she gives him a light uh, punch on the chest. See you later. And with that, she's gonna walk off. Right. But yeah, I just have stuff to talk about once we're on the ship we've left, but not before. Okay, okay. Uh, the ship, oh second. yeah, um, Ash? Yep. Uh, I use the, um, like, just general lines for uh, antique battle droid, uh, for the battle droid stats in the cargo hold. Like, I think there's, like, pre probably somewhere along where what it should be worth. Yeah, that's fine. Why is there I'll a tour? The top of the lines, <laughs> there's ten of them. Uh, the top of the line stuff apparently costs like they cost like nine thousand five hundred. So that, that seems a bit steep. Yeah, I'll take a look soon. But for so, now, I, mean, this, this, I think these are the little cheap ones. Yeah. Probably. You are now on the ship and heading back. Though your grandfather has decided to stay on the ship and go with uh, and talk with a new man <coughs> or inside of a family. He basically decided, fuck it, I'll stay here. It's literally that Narshada incident all over again. He's gonna get drunk and we'll be like, oh no, grandpa needs help. Let's bust the fucking Mandalorian ship. <laughs> so, you are now on your ship. Let's stop the wedding music. I just realized we forgot about that greeter bot. We should probably, you know, spend some time with him. I miss the little. He is, by the way, while you were away, he has cleaned the ship. Oh, wow, nice. But don't let B29 know, Vo. <laughs> oh, he's, he's already noticed. All right, now that we're on the ship, I kind of want to, I want to call over a, a, a ship meeting. Okay. Ship meeting. And, and what does the ship meeting alarm sound like, Commander? Get the fuck in the commons room, I want to talk about shit. <laughs> yeah. beating, beating. <laughs> Warning! Warning! There's an angry Mandalorian requesting your presence right now. Warning! Warning! That includes teaser. <laughs> She's blind, she can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um. Right. Start using that excuse. I'm blind, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> that only works the first 20 times. Come on. I'm not an idiot. Cough. Doctor, not a physicist. So, as everybody's gathered in the uh, commons, uh, you'll find that Astrid is actually not wearing her armor. She has not put it back on. Yes, yes kinda... Astrid. It looks a bit cheapish. Yeah. Um, well, I just kind of wanted to uh, apologize for lying and getting us into all this trouble. Uh, whoa, 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 hold on, uh, hold, uh, hold that thought, Astrid. Uh, you're, sh you're showing a lot of squishy stuff right now, is that okay? Uh, uh. Oh, oh, yeah, I didn't actually ever need to wear my armor. I was just wearing it so people wouldn't recognize me. Fucking kind of really? Awkwardly scratches the back of her neck. I'll just move a hand onto the knee. Oh, it looks nice. It's a good change. Oh, oh thanks. thanks. Also, Who's echoing me? Uh, Jack. I'm gonna guess. Someone pushed the top, mate. Hello. It was Ash. Right. Yeah, Ash has um, been doing that a lot lately. Also, what do you mean lying? Uh, well, I told you all guys that I got exiled for doing something really bad when it actually just ran away. Yeah, you know, I'm still kind of puzzled about that. I mean, why exactly run away? Doesn't, I don't know, fit your style much. Just kind of, um, Swallows hard and she just kind of looks a bit uncomfortable with uh, that. I'm gonna interrupt her if Astrid tries to say something and Cora's gonna lean forward and basically whisper that uh, she read a bit of Yulon's uh, surface thoughts and saw what he's really like and she, she's just gonna stare at Astrid in her eyes so she... Is that, is that the reason basically? You don't have to say anything, just... Uh, am I on point here for, the, uh, for that asshole? 
Uh, she just kind of laughs awkwardly. Yeah, that's kind of why I said not to let him get you alone. He got me alone once and it... Uh, okay, so, uh, moving on. Um, Dora immediately frowns. You know, it's not too late to go and castrate him. Uh, it's okay. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that's kind of why... I, yeah, so... I'm really sorry for lying to you guys all this time. I just didn't want you guys to know anything because I was worried if you did, they they might hurt you or hurt, I just didn't want you guys get, getting hurt or anything. Well, I looked down at all of my totally intact limbs. We're fine. Don't have to keep any. <sighs> well, Don't keep them from calling that. Point. <laughs> I say, looking across the table, laughing. I... Well, I guess this means I don't have to wear my armor all the time and pretend like I really like killing people. But you do like killing people. Well, I like fighting. I don't really like murder. I mean, if you say so. Honestly, I've never seen anyone laugh with bleed so much in the middle of battles. I just assumed there was something wrong with you, like you hit your head or something, huh? Yeah, He's a sorry. Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to kind of keep up the image of being crazy because I got kicked off for doing something bad. It, it wouldn't really make sense if I just said I got kicked off for doing something really bad and then didn't, like, act weird in the middle of fight fighting. I mean, Looks extremely sheepish. I mean, Astrid... You know my past, uh, you know that I kind of deserted the Republic during the war, think about it, so I'm hardly anybody to judge you, so we're cool on, uh, on this front and she gives you a thumbs up, don't worry about it. I just shrug, take a sip of I deserted my career. Yeah. And you, deserted the Jedi Temple. Now that I think about it, are we just all a bunch of quitters? <laughs> no. I suppose that is one way to dreams. look at it. Jack says, looking idly off. Uh, sorry, Jack, oh, can you repeat? As if we're a bunch of people that blow our dreams. Oh, and I suppose B2, you're more of a literal desserts. Are you questioning my medical service to this ship, Captain? No, I'm Don't asking feel... what the desserts are do. <laughs> Kick. B2 I say just, shaking an empty glass. <laughs> just slowly turns around and sort of stomps off to the kitchen. Kick. B29 will remember this. Well, fully pretty much. Diffused. I'll just turn to you. Really, you've got nothing to worry about. Um, I suppose I should reintroduce myself kinda um well hello I'm Astrid Eleni I was raised as the heir to the Eleni clan basically I was to be the strongest and the best leader of the Mandalorians of the Eleni clan um I'm the only person to ever beat my father in single combat um I love fixing things and working on mechanics. Mechanics has always been my first love and gadgets, and I just really love it. Um, my preferred combat styles are close range or with my gun. Um, um, can be kind of awkward, and um... Uh, at yeah. this point I'm assuming uh, somebody's gonna jump in if nobody's jumping in. Go to oh, Jack! Jack's just sitting back and chuckling. Just turned it into a job interview in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cora, no, TC just pipes up. Astrid, it's fine. You don't have to say anything. We already know who you are. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. But more importantly, ooh, there was more about that time you beat the shit out of your father. Like, did he deny head pass or something? What's the deal there? Oh, oh no, it was just the rite of passage for, uh, leaders of Mandalorian clans. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to fight, um, ten of the be the strongest, um, warriors of the clan in a row, and then the leader of the clan. 
That seems kind of unfair. Turns... Yeah, it turns out you're not actually supposed to win. Oh. Oh. But... Oh. <laughs> Kick. <laughs> Shake my head a little bit. So what? It's supposed to teach endurance? And a bit of humility. Right. I'd say that backfired. <laughs> Just kind of, again, awkwardly laughing. Yeah, I was actually the first person to not only beat my dad, but actually win that test. Oh, here's the happy backfire. It's Jack raises his glass. Yeah, uh, uh happy backfire. <laughs> <laughs> to all the quitters out there that, you know, quitting brought us together, so cheers. <laughs> ah, all the quitters and runaways. Meanwhile, in the corner, B2's just mercilessly, like, beating the <laughs> shit out of <laughs> <He's cornered. laughs> He's actually shoving it closer and closer to the oven. Uh. <laughs> B29, play nice! Please. You're not a German. Stop shoving that guy in an oven. <laughs> no, you can't. No, Esper. Bad Esper. <laughs> Bad Esper. That's getting spit. cut out. Look, in, in full fairness, through work, he's free. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I will not fit. <laughs> Please, I won't fit. It won't fit. Oh, God. Esper, yeah. stop. Please get out of my way. I'm trying to serve the captain a new drink. Then please, use the kitchen to the full extent to serve Captain his drink. You're not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> but you said I was allowed to stay on board as long as I was out of everybody's way. You're in my way right now. Then I shall leave this area and allow you to resume duties. Scuffle, scuffle. Scuffle, 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 scuffle. <laughs> I forgot what name we gave him, but I'm basically gonna reach out and grab him so I can... Uh, make him sit down next to her. Can't sit down, he has four legs. Oh. I'm just gonna <laughs> keep him next to me then, so I can give him a, a hug. Oh. He's a good. Oh. At this point, now that I know that everybody's not mad at me, I'm gonna sit next to my uh, fiance. Oh. Too bad, Cora's single. Well, actually, at this point, I'm the feet twice. <clears throat> I mean. <laughs> fiance squared. Like I said, I'm not getting you more presents. Also, you didn't change the room. Where is my master bed? <clears throat> well, you kind of didn't have time because, you know, everything gone to shit. So I'll make what? it soon. All right, yeah, you're good. I'm joking with you. <laughs> that way, it will be done soon. Uh, oh, I never man. joke, guys. Soon, TM. Soon, TM. TM, soon. You need to get that open bath and stuff. Hmm. Where are you gonna put it? Oh, you mean the captain? Hey, if it, works in, if it works in Shadowrun, it can work here too. <laughs> it wasn't in Shadowrun, it was Eclipse Face. But that only worked because we're like, more like four or five people on the ship for like ten. <laughs> V2, why? <laughs> yeah, uh, Ash, I was gonna ask you, you need to add another speeder bike, you know, Cora's bike is gonna be with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got to as well. Otherwise, so <laughs> I just laughed at P2 right now. <laughs> just... I feel like we should we should maybe not have him serve stuff. By the way, guys, since we're all here together right now, I was thinking, could we perhaps address the issue of B29 bullying her new friend? Uh, B, you shouldn't bully him. I know that I am the superior droid on the ship. So of course. Why should I treat him with any sort of acknowledgement worthy? You ask the superior model. Yes, see, even he admits it. Uh, look at it this way, B29. A person's value is judged by how he treats those that are beneath him. If you treat him with such disdain, you're making uh, a bad example. And uh, we are thinking less of you because of it. Human values. 
<laughs> B29, don't make me program protocols into you to make you stop being mean to him. Stares at you and stops talking. I just kind of, <laughs> I'm just smiling because you know what I could do with. I'm the one that does repairs on you. I could slip those protocols in and you would never know. Right in the back door. He's just slowly backing off down the corridor. <laughs> oh, you there? Could you get me a new shirt? Just slip it through, oh, slip, yeah. slip it through the back this, door. Is front of his this one seems to be wet, and I just huck it over at him. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back and scoops it up for a moment and then continues. <laughs> Shit, you're in the exit. He's back in business, baby. You know, you realize the, uh, uh... the moment he goes sentient, he's gonna kill you first, Jack, right? Can't kill me. I want him in a game of cards. Actually, Jack. When was yeah. the last time uh, two nine got memory wiped? Never. Right. In that case, I would say that he's probably already sentient. Find people. So, with Jack and his cold nipples out... What? Oh, is the AC on? Oh. <laughs> okay, so, I was about uh, to Ast say what? Astrid is all covered, covered up... Astrid, are you covering up his nipples? Shirt. Are you protecting yeah. the nip snips? I'll give him a blanket, <laughs> but I'm not gonna I mean... fondle him. <laughs> I have a suspicion that public. Jack looks... looks... not like... Like, there would be no difference to Jack wearing a t-shirt and him not, not wearing a t-shirt to tease her because she's just seeing his outline, so it's like, eh. Ah, oh, Teaser, you're so lucky you don't have eyes right now. You wouldn't believe what these guys are doing. Jack is already half naked. Dominance is <laughs> This is well, my goddamn shit. I suppose we should give the lucky couple, couple their space. <laughs> Oh, well, they do have their own room, but uh, fuck it. I refuse Need to, get back to fondle to him in public. Please remember to use protection. Also, I'll just Check. interject in while you two are talking. Every room's my own room. I own the ship. <laughs> <sighs> protection makes sure that unwanted pregnancies do not happen. What? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave the greeter bot, uh, whose name I already forgot. Uh, what was his name? Zero three. Zero three? His name's Zero Three, but you can name him wherever you want. Danny. No. Tim. No. <laughs> anyway, we're Bob. gonna leave uh, uh, Zero Three, soon to be renamed, uh, over here to give you a nice lecture. Since uh, you two kids clearly need it, I'm off to do some meditating. See ya. Actually, uh, Tisa is going to catch up to you uh, just outside the cargo bay. I'm going to my room. <laughs> Caesar, please don't tell me that you got excited after watching that and want to do something. No. You might not believe so, but I listen very intently to what people say. Do I understand it correctly that you looked inside Julian's mind? Uh, I guess? It's a weird feeling, but uh, I felt like I connected with his mind for a and you say he did something. Uh, what let's did just he do? say that uh, if you think he was a scumbag on the outside, he's even worse on the inside. Bet it out for me, will you? I'd rather not, unless Astrid wants to talk about it. It's kind of sensitive. Safe to say he was a scumbag for. Him. Yes, but how much of a scumbag? The kind that I really wanted to chop those balls off. <laughs> I see. I believe I shall kill him the next time I see him. Well, honestly, I think Devs took but uh, I'm not gonna stop you. Anyway, uh, is there something else I can help you with, Kaiser? 
no, I believe I need to go find my center again. Stress this bothering you. You could say that, although nothing that can't wait until later, and also nothing that was bothering me until this moment. Oh, uh, that reminds me. How is uh, the sea going along? Have you managed to know something? Well, I can feel its presence and that it's there, but it's not yet ready, I suppose. And this really is exciting. I never went through this. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how it actually works. Good luck. Let me know if uh, you need help or anything. Tizio's raising eyebrow. To my knowledge, this is the first time a seed has been used in such a... Uh, uh, a crystal has been obtained in such a way. I, at least personally, don't know of another. I suppose there might be a tale in, somewhere in the archives. They are, after all, very extensive. By the way, wouldn't this be a good uh, excuse to contact your master? I mean, this is kind of a unique case and... I mean, seems like a good person. Wanna get back in touch with her? Tizio's like, raise an eyebrow. What do you mean excuse? What would be an excuse to contact her? I mean, I just thought you had some reason for avoiding her all this time. It's not like your enemies or anything. Um, I think you misunderstand. I'm not avoiding her, it's just that we walk different paths. And those different paths don't allow you to share a drink or talk from time to time? Well, of course they do, but we are not necessarily in the same location all, all the time. No, Tizer, I guess I just had a very different idea of what a proper Jedi should be like. I mean, you were her student at one point, so I figured you'd be, I don't know, a bit closer, more intimate? Unfortunately, the Jedi Order frowns upon intimate relations. Because you're intimate, doesn't mean it has to be, well, physical, Isaac. Of course not, but it also frowns on attachments. Wow, that does sound nice and I know that. Back in the day, the Jedi's were... There's a reason... There's a reason I left the Order. I do not share their views. Oh! Well, that's perfect then, because for some reason, Astrid has been itching to play the role of a uh, bigger sister, so she'll be very excited to hear that. And Cora laughs as she pats you on the back. <laughs> well... <clears throat> I suppose you could say that up until we met on... Zerus... There was not exactly no love lost between us. Well, that's not the app description. More to the point, I left and she was worried I would fall to the dark side. Honestly, as, uh, assuming all of my experience and all of the things I've seen, I really can't picture you falling to the dark side. That would be strange. People True. who usually fall are ones that, well, themselves, just want results and don't care about consequences. And Either. I'll be honest with you, Tizer, in that regard, you are probably the most boring Jedi I've ever met. <laughs> True, but then I'm not a Jedi, exactly. Ah, that's fair. Well, there's another case of people falling, and that's the ones that refuses to acknowledge that the dark side even exists. Oh, come on, nobody can be that blind. Well, I suppose that's on an app description. It's better to say that they believe it exists, but they, that it could never lure them. And so they fail to see the signs in themselves, and thus they fall. Uh, I guess that is something. I tend to be blind about the more obvious things, in a way. Well... That is another thing I don't agree, where I and the Order do not share views, since they refuse to acknowledge the concept of emotions. Well, they acknowledge the concept of emotions, but they believe in suppressing them. Which means that once the emotions take over, unless you're ready for it, they will just run wild, and so you, as you put it, lose yourself. 
uh, Cora just uh, quietly smiles and uh, starts walking past you but whispers uh, in your ear Be careful Tizer or you're gonna have to switch out your ropes for grey ones if you that up and she's gonna walk into the hangar pass bit. The doors slide open as you walk through. Excuse me, could you not talk in the doorway? <laughs> You're obstructing the direct walkway. Yes, yes, TC calm just... down. <laughs> TC just raises an eyebrow at, at Cora, then turns it to B29. Of course, to 9 I shall retire to my quarters for the evening. Good night. Good night. By the way, I, uh, not sure if you know this, but, uh, Corey, you probably don't want to go back to your room. Oh yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm meditating in anger. <laughs> Why? Why? Wait. Oh no, wait. That was one, two, three. No, they're doing it in Vivek's room. That's what? it. What the fuck are they in Vivek's room? Oh god, what, what are they doing in the same room together? <laughs> no! What? No, I was. I'm working on mechanics. No, I don't want to know what you're doing with your husband in a locked room when he's shirtless. I don't want to know about your functionalities. <laughs> I don't want to know mechanics. Sure. There's just a lot of loud noises. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to know. Ew 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 no ew. He's trying to work on her armor. Ew ew no. I don't care what you call it, ew, ew. Also, Ash, uh, this is now the master bedroom. All three of these. <laughs> oh, God. All three of them? Yeah, no. we don't for fuck's sake. <laughs> I just R River comes back it's like where the fuck's my where the fuck are my quarters? Well, you get, I'm combining two rooms. That's what you. Got. Yeah, that's fair. Two rooms, three rooms is a bit much. Come on, guys. Shut up. Uh, I'm fine. I'll work on my mechanics in the fucking hand. Ja room ja Jack, Jack, <laughs> like, you can't convert this this to uh, a master bedroom. That needs to be your armory. Don't you get it? <laughs> Why are you uh... doing this? Oh, did you see this? Come on, T-Rex.